Even if you did not live in that era, you have a sense of it because it has been retold to the next generation. Camelot, the White House, the Kennedys. And at a time when television was emerging and capturing it, and the country was changing with it. Then there was the day that defined it all, that fateful day in 1963. President John F. Kennedy got off the plane, arriving in Dallas, an anticipated event for the city. Then, as we know, it all changed when he took a ride on a calculated route. The location that was chosen for the luncheon for the fundraiser for the 64 re-election campaign was Dallas Market Hall. And in order to get from Main Street over to Market Hall, they had to come down Main, turn here on Houston, and then make their way down Elm onto Stimmons Freeway. It was a natural drive. And that decision was made just five days before the Kennedys came to Dallas. Time will not blur the fascination with the story, the theories that go with it. To understand it, you need to feel it, to be there to use one's mind to recreate what happened. Part of it is left to your imagination. Part of it is filled with a fact-based tour. We have a, a one-hour trolley ride that takes people down the motorcade route through Dealey Plaza. The tour takes you through a place of history from a different perspective. A first-hand understanding of where Lee Harvey Oswald positioned his fateful shots. The motorcade came right down Houston Street and turned right behind us on Elm Street. When it did, the shots were fired from the sixth floor, which is now a museum, and uh, came down into the limousine right here. The motorcade then sped up underneath the bridge and took our mortally wounded president to Parkland Hospital just a few miles away. On this day, a photographer is there to capture some of that feel. Through a lens, yes, but through a mind, the wonderment of that day and what it must have felt like to be there for a nation to witness. Anytime you're photographing somewhere with a sense of history, I feel like you kind of have an obligation to, um, to honor that and to respect it. The attraction is filled with room for the mind to wander, which leads to the natural questions that have been asked ever since. You know the ones, the conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories are a lot of fun to talk about. And if we were to try to talk about that, I could probably keep you guys going for probably another two days here on this show. We stick to straight to the facts of the event. And quite honestly, before I started doing this tour, I was a, a fundamentalist where the uh, conspiracy theories were concerned. But after I've done more research here, I don't think it was a conspiracy at all. I think Oswald acted alone and he did the, sh did the shooting. Daily Plaza has become a destination. They come from all over the world to hone in on a sense of history. Dealey Plaza is an international destination. It's amazing how many people we get coming from all over the world 50 years after the assassination of John F. Kennedy here in Dealey Plaza. We get people from as far away as Australia, UK, uh, all over Europe, it's everywhere. It's a constant um, piece of intrigue. The conclusion you draw is your own, but the outcome is not debatable. That it changed the country some would say it took us from optimism and innocence to a place of fear. It still resonates. What was and what has become because of it. And everyone talks about how they will never forget that day. It was kind of the 9-11 of my era. I will do my best. That is all I can do. I ask for your help. Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch. Photography for a Lifetime.